Hey, I'm going to show you how you can make over 200,000 AUEC per run in the Drake Vulture, and all it takes is a little skill with the tractor beam. Let's get into it. Hello, Caventia here, but you can call me Cav. So a number of you have been wondering how you can maximize the amount of salvage that you can get in a vulture. Now, the Drake vulture is supposed to only have 12 SCU worth of storage space that goes in here, but if you strategically stack stuff down the side here, you can get about 25, 26 if you're, ooh, if you're careful. Um, worth of RMC in here. Oh, and before I forget, if you have trouble selling RMC, just server hop. Um, some servers will let you sell RMC and some will not. Uh, don't panic. Cargo grid's not even displaying. Just store your ship, exit to menu, log on to a new server and you will be fine. Um, so the Vulture typically just has this... Ooh, Glitchy. Um, just has this uh, area here with these six um, sections, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, that you can store your uh, cargo and they stack too high, which means that you can get 12 SCU worth of cargo in the Vulture. However, if you stack uh, some of the boxes all the way against the back door there and you do another row, directly kind of bumped up next to that and you try and get the uh, struts uh, aligned for the ones on top you can see that they end up being offset just a little bit back from these ones and what that means is you can quite comfortably fit four additional stacks of two here for a total of 20 boxes then you've got this one here for 21 and then with some careful maneuvering you can get this all the way up to about 25 26 boxes in here with these ones we want to stick it all the way down the end of here. Now you can walk it or you can push it and eventually come to a very gentle stop. If it wibbles a bit, you can always ease off the pressure and you'll see that this is pushed back considerably further than those ones. Now this is important in order to maximize the amount of space in here because leaving that bit of gap here, you get a bit of gap here, you get a bit of gap here, you get a bit of gap here, and that will allow you to get a few more boxes out of here when this room is completely packed with cargo. And then you just place it down, try and get it as lined up as possible. You don't really want it to be further back, ideally you want it to be just kind of sat on these metal bits, and that way when you let go, these will line up. You might get a little bit of jiggling until it settles, but as long as you don't nudge it, it should be absolutely fine. Just matters that you get it all the way back. So we've got a little bit of overlap there. Oops. Uh, if you nudge it, not a problem. You've got the R key and you can just rotate it back into place. Ooh, it looks about right. Perfect. Oh, perfect-ish. <laughs> uh, we've still got this a little bit further back than these, so that's absolutely fine. My preferred way of stacking is you put the back ones in, um, the back four, one, two, three, four, and then you start piling up first four of the side ones, when I'm talking about the side ones, I mean the ones on the left of the cargo grid are in. I put this one in um, to help line up the next one. And then you can stack up the next ones and then uh, put your fourth one on the left hand side uh, here, but as close as you can, it's not quite fully butted up, but, but basically you grab it and you butt it up as close as you can to the wall and as close as you can to the, the next ones there. So there's as little gap as possible. It might do a little bit of wiggling, um, but mostly physics wise, it'll be okay. I tend to leave this gap pretty open here. And the reason why is it makes 
um, moving the side ones into place a little bit easier. This row here is actually the easiest to get in because even when you only have a tiny little bit of visibility space, you can still slot um, the boxes comfortably into these uh, back four slots. So they're normally the last ones that I fill up. Um, also, by leaving a gap here that's big enough for you to get through, you can continue to access the eject button even when it's really, really tiny and squished up here, um, you can still output that and that allows you to continue to put that in its place. Um, this is ample room for us to squeeze through without nudging this box. So I'm going to move our next one. Do, 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 do. Oops. Oh, press R and rotate in order to rotate boxes, by the way. R and the moving the mouse left to right makes it spin like that. Up and down makes it spin like that. And if you use your scroll wheel with R held, you can rotate it. That combination of things means that you can quite comfortably ensure that your boxes are pretty lined up in order to make sure that these metal struts line up when you're stacking the boxes. That's the easiest way to get these box is happy, not glitching out, not damaging your cargo area um, in order to continue piling up. Let's see how many boxes we can squeeze in. If you're interested to know how this reclaimer got here, uh, it turns out that reclaimers are now part of VHRT bounties, which is pretty awesome. Um, and they are a bit more of a challenge to take down. They're big kind of lumbering whales with a lot of HP. Um, however, either in a decent uh, light medium or heavy fighter you can take them down um, or in a group if necessary um, just beware sometimes they spawn in as many as four reclaimers for a single vhrt bounty and this is what i mean about it being easy to squeeze them in uh, even if you have a narrow kind of viewing area um, so yeah let's start putting them in there Now we're on to one of the meatiest parts of the reclaimer. If you... Let's see if we can get that button from here. We can. Perfect. Now you see, even though we've got nine stacked here, we can still get to that four relatively easily. So nine plus 12 gives us 21. That is unusual behavior and does not normally happen. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So this one should now be real again, which is great. That's, that's pathetic. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Locked. Okay, nine in there. And 12 there. One more there. We've got 22 so far. We 
make enough space here by rotating this one. We can get another one out. Technically, I think we can get another two here. So 25, 26 is pretty much the limit. strategy here is going to be to move this one towards us and then that one into that slot. Um, you have a limited time uh, because it can only keep connection with a cargo box that it can s can't see for a short period of time and as soon as it goes behind this it's going to be red so to be pretty quick a little bit aggressive nope not quite maybe back a bit okay We'll try and move this one towards us a bit more by walking backwards. Should now have space. Okay, it's probably not perfect. It's very not perfect. Rotate it a little bit so it's a bit more square on. Hopefully we can still get to that button. Let's bring this one out to here. And we may be able to press that button, but we're, uh, we're getting quite close to our limit in terms of what we can do with these boxes. There we go. So we now have our 10 in here. 12, that's 22. Uh, two, <laughs> that's 24, and technically, we can get one more out. No! Press the wrong button, get in, don't explode, no! That went badly. That went very badly. We did not explode. That went badly. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Go on. And up. Did we break our mining mode? Fields down, I understand that. Full station obstructed, I get that. Those are still work, good. Okay, let's be sensible and put our landing gear down in case that happens again. Silly, silly mistake. So, it looks like uh, we are as full as we can be. Um, we have our 10, we have 12, we have another 3. Um, that gives us 25, and I think we've got one in the machine for 26. So this is our absolute maximum that I've ever managed uh, stacked vulture. Now I have heard that some people um, might uh, bring them in here and manage to store them in here. I haven't seen how people do that I imagine they use this side door or maybe they glitch it in somehow um, this is a non glitching uh, maximum uh, but if anyone can beat 26 SCU worth of uh, cargo and a vulture uh, I challenge you um, to try and beat my number and now let's just make sure that we can sell this uh, to ensure that I don't eat my words. Uh, I do recommend that if you are going to do these VHRT bounties in order to get some reclaimers, um, you may want to partner with somebody else to, or at the very least, uh, you need to watch your back on radar when you're in the pilot seat, send out some pings occasionally, uh, beware of, of red dots. Um, we we're in a relatively safe space, we're quite close to a mining outpost, so worst case I could run it into that area. Um, or just, you know, escape off planet.
generally when I park the Vulture, uh, I tend to uh, park it facing the exit. Uh, if you squash yourself up against this wall, you've got a door open here. Uh, I like to make sure that the door is closed behind me, uh, even though I don't think anyone can get in. And then you can just run off of here straight to the elevator. And please, 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 please work this time. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, you're joking. Come on. This is not happening again. No. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Store. Wait for it to be stored. And let's try a different server. Come on. Right. It's gonna work now. It's gonna work. Vulture. Oh, 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 that's what we like to see. I mean, it screwed up a little. It's given us a little bit less, but I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. So, 14, not on the grid. Confirm. And 11 on the grid. Confirm. One hundred and ninety thousand AUEC. Thank you very much. That does it for me. Uh, thank you, everybody. And if this was useful, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one for more tips, hints, tricks, and all of that jazz. See you in the verse. Bye bye. <laughs>